Hey, it's Scott's Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. Been a while, but we've had Single Cast Ooh. Nation before, and we've got a couple new ones. Yes, and we're going to test it! Single Cast Nation Independent Bottler Lady K Gift Style. Ooh. Lady K Gift Style. Yeah! All right, so Lady K, that's her handle. She sent these to us. So she said, hey, I love Single Cast Nation. Can I send you a couple? And we were like, yes, Lady K, you can. And I know Lady K. I know her name. I don't know if she wants it put out there, so we won't. Yes, that's that. why I'm using Lady K. Yep. I thought her first name was Lady. Her last name was K-A-Y. K. -A -Y. <laughs> so we're going the m &H Distillery. With milk and Honey. Milk and Honey. Israeli. An Israeli company. We've done two of their other bottles. And a MacMira uh, single malt Swedish whiskey. 13-year-old. Yeah. forty. Ooh. So the MacMira, 47.4%. Uh, um, let's see here. 13 years virgin oak hogshead. Wow. All right. So the m &H, um single malt Israeli whiskey is aged three years on a first fill bourbon barrel. Uh, it's one of 255 bottles at 58.9% ABV. 58.9%. So we got a higher at 47. Oh, yeah, it's almost we've, 10. We've got a higher ABV, right. younger, retoasted. This one's darker. Should we do it first? Uh, McNamara? It's darker. Do it first. So we're doing the Glen Karen. A little bit lower ABV. Both just X bourbon. Well, this one, what I say? That's uh, interesting. Virgin Oak Hogshead. Single cast nation, by the way, oh. we've had Jason and Joshua. I don't know if you remember their names or not. I would not have remembered Jason uh, and Joshua. Years ago on Scotch years. Test Dummies. Yeah. We had, had, uh, had them on. Right. Yep. They do. Probably. Back then. What? The very first. Five, six years ago. Oh, boy. Yeah, at least six. <laughs> they used to do in New York during the big whiskey fest, they would do the Whiskey Jubilee. Yes. Which was like, what, two days before the fest oh, kicked off or something. I don't remember. Yeah. And, uh, they, and they were started doing special bottles. This is interesting. It's got a sour, Mac, this a is sour Mac, Mac touch to it with an oak. It, yeah. Sour malty. Yeah. A um, <laughs> little bit of gym bag. Huh. Yeah, sour, grape, malty, barrel. Huh. That's interesting. Wow, that's a little bit different. A lot different. Let me sip that. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out kind of a burnt vanilla, burnt cream creme brulee on the nose. Mm. I'm looking it's fruity, but is it? It's almost berry-ish. I'm getting, see. I'm getting all the flavor movement in the finish. Mm. I couldn't really get anything on the first sip. You're apparently getting something. And then I've got a lot more wood influence than I expected. I'm going to have to come back on here a second time. Go ahead. Mm. No, it was a, there was a sweet. I was trying to suss it out. Berry, I finally said on the nose, sip right up front. As soon as it got onto my tongue, it was mm. berries sweeter fruity but then there's also mid palate coming right into the finish is this um musky musty yeah. dunnage dunnage almost uh earthy yeah note which is nice really gorgeous well i'm perplexed i didn't get uh the oak flavors that time i got a lot more of the dunnage hmm and I'm getting a little more of the berry and the lingering finish. Hmm. With a caramel drizzle. Hmm. Reminds me, I think they're called lingonberry, which is the... Lingonberry. Yeah, you can buy it at Ikea when you get the Swedish meatballs. You can put this little these lingonberries on there as well. Really? Yeah. I've Not to be confused them. with dingleberries. Oh, boy. I want to do that. Lingon, lingonberries. <laughs> And yeah, you get Swedish um, meatball. Swedish meatball. That's you want funny. A drop of water. 
Sorry, I broke your train of thought on what was funny. No, because I just realized it's, it's here. I come up with an IKEA note, and it's right. a Swedish whiskey. Yeah, it is an IKEA, right? Swedish. It's Swedish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even. No, I thought you did that on purpose. Huh. I was giving you genius credit. No. You did it by accident. You're an yeah, accidental accident. genius, Lincoln. Oh wait, 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 wait. Not that That's one. That's why I waited. That's I the, wasn't sure. I couldn't I mean, tell. Couldn't tell. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Pre-water it. Yeah, that little one little half a drop of water you added would have. <laughs> oh, you got it. a low, a low thing there. You got a tiny. Thing. Now I wonder why. So I mean, it's single cask. Boy, thirteen God. years they really dropped the ABV. They haven't added water. One of two hundred and fifty bottles, fifty-seven point four. A little low. Uh, could have been a leaky barrel, maybe something to cause that low. Or well, maybe in Sweden at thirteen years the ABV has dropped that low. Good, you know. Sometimes it'll swing down. This is a very nice sippable. I mean, it's 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 different. Mm -hmm. It's unique. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, drop of water. Still getting that heavy dunnage earth, fresh turned shovel. And then a little bit of sour oak in the finish. Hmm. But then a little faint berry with a cream, with a milky cream mm. sauce. Yeah. Way in the finish there. That's it. Sweet cream. Yeah. Hmm. Whipped cream. That's Homemade whipped sweet cream. <laughs> Lingonberries. <laughs> Swedish meatballs. And that Kia. Earthy. That is very earthy. It's musky. that is a unique, yeah, earthy musky. That's a unique flavor. I like it. That's very unique. Very different. Hmm. Let me cleanse. The only thing that'd make that better, a little bit higher ABV. Mm. Still beautiful, forty-seven point four percent. Nice. Yep. All right. That is not Ooh. normal, though. That is no. very unique. I don't know where else you're gonna get that. It almost has like a Campbelltown feel. I was going to say, I just about added sea salt to it, kind of a okay. maritime note as well mm. underneath there. That's interesting. Salted caramel. Yeah. Mm. Sea salt. Hmm. I can see that. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to the M&H. So we've got the single malt. Like you said, this is only three years old and a first fill bourbon. So I'm expecting some vanilla notes. Um, it's a first fill barrel. So I don't know. We're going to get a little more oak probably. Now, what did you say? Three years? Three years. So, yeah, I mean, and the M we've done two other M&Hs, both, well, the Dead, I don't know if we did the M&H Classic. Yes, we did. I don't know if it had an age statement on it, but yeah. the Dead Sea edition that we did was like a five-year-old, yeah, it was six really good. It was really, really good. Yeah, and it's aged at the hottest point on Earth, so I think it was, or the lowest lowest, lowest point, which is pretty hot. Is it the too, lowest by point the on dead, Earth? By yeah, the is, Dead Sea. Is, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so whiskey, a three-year-old whiskey, I think from Israel is should be like well, a three-year-old Texas whiskey. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Huh. I think we need to go visit M and H because their their classic Ooh. was really good. I keep it back in my office, no. and we're gonna try to do like all of their stuff together. So I had to quit drinking M and H family, an M and H family distillery dive dive. This one almost has a, a wine barrique nose, almost a tangy grape. I mean, it's a it's a sour, fruity, citrusy, yes, malty. I was going to say tangy citrus. That's interesting. You you mentioned the the barrique. Yeah, you're getting good on all that. Well, I'm just saying because it's a little bit tangy fruit. Sometimes you get that with some some different white wines, maybe white grapes. Type, which it isn't. It just says ex bourbon, mm -hmm. but that's just the nose. So let's we'll see what we get on the palate. Hmm. See, while you had the whiskey in your mouth, I was talking. I know. There. It was almost like we planned it. <laughs> the way you're sip, sipping it, and then I could fill time while you're getting your tasting notes. Now, I was going to describe what I tasted. It was like a dual layer. I had some spices and some creams, 
But it was weird. It was almost like there was a dividing line between the two. Ooh, a lot of cream in the finish. Mm -hmm. Malty. With a, yeah, with a, with a malty touch and just a hint of, of oak in there as well. Wow. Light oak. None of the, the tangy, kind of tart, fruity, grapey nose. None of that is on the palate. This really feels like more of like a refill bourbon barrel where there's mm -hmm. slight, you know, oak influence and stuff going on. More of a look at the distillate. Well, this time I got, again, the cream, but a little bit of spices intermingled. Mm. Um, the oak, again, hangs in the background. Ah, but I get a nice creamy vanilla. Wow. Um, now these really don't feel. That. I'll take that. They really don't feel that different in ABV. This one was forty-seven point four. This one is fifty. See, this one feels a little more sparky. Fifty-eight point nine, a little bit more, but it doesn't feel like that big of a difference. Ten, eleven point difference. <laughs> then I think this I this on one this. feels this one feels hotter. The Mac Mira and the M and H doesn't feel quite as hot as fifty-eight. It's like they're. Check the nose out between the two. Go back and nose that Glen Karen. Man. Hmm. Lighter, more citrus, heavier, but berry. Huh. But also kind of similar though, too. Really malty and both kind of earthy. Something. Hmm. Kind of uh, sour, earthy. <coughs> Funky, even on the uh, M and H now, a little bit more funk, dirt. Hmm. Do you want to drop? I like it. Let me take one more sip, neat. Okay. Got a little drop for you there. Boom. Give me another one. I'll tell Come you. On. Double shot. Boom. There we go. There. Give it a little. Yeah, both very nice. You have a little bit more lemon custard. Mm. Uh, light citrusy notes showing on the M and H, and this is—I mean, it's not like we're comparing them, which one's better. Just the difference here: two very good whiskeys. No, if anything, what I'm saying world, is, is kind of right. world whiskeys. What's, what's interesting is is what's coming out of single cast nation is these very unique experiences, which is hopefully what you would be looking for if you purchase from them, because you're not you're not getting like that. Just something off the shelf. These yeah. would be hard to categorize, mm. kind of. Yeah. Wow. Very good. A lot more uh, powdered sugars, citrusy, lemon tart. Yeah. A lot oh. of lemon tart here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lemon meringue. Croissant. Croissant. Mm -hmm. mm. Vanillas. That's interesting. I feel like the water opened up the oak flavors. Did you get more oak? No, it's more of the sweet and the powdered sugar coming out. Huh. Yeah. Very nice. Hmm. Well, thanks to Lady K for sure. Yeah. So thank you. Any fans that want to send us something, just reach out. Reach out. Let us know. Especially if you got a... Um, we've got some folks with distilleries near them that we don't have access to that they'll send us stuff every once in a while. What are you doing more water? That's going to add even a little healthy drop of water mm. on the M&H here just to see. I'm going to pop just back. To see. Pop back. I'm trying to think of scores here. What would I score in these? Oh boy. Man, that dunnage just jumps out. That's a little funky. Mm. There we go. Enough water there now. Oh, a little bit more of that oak real? char. Okay, maybe no, I'm you already get it. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, water. Water really opening it up. Right on down the gullet. <laughs> <laughs> These wouldn't be hard to score. Um, this one is so different. Which one? The McNamara. Sometimes I'm digging it, and then Mac sometimes... The McNamara. McNamara? What did I say? That's what you said, McNamara. McMira? McMira. Sorry, McMira. <laughs> Mac Manera? I don't know what I said. <laughs> McNamara? <laughs> McDonald's? McMira. Oh, definitely not. McMira, not McNamara. <laughs> My pronunciation's off. 
So interesting. I only did that because you said this. Now you go this one. Yeah. Yes, I go. And you're which, which one? Which, which one? one? Back, you got to elaborate for those on camera yeah. watching. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> the McNamara. <laughs> Oh yeah, both delicious, both great. Know, wasn't he both great like, whiskeys. Wasn't he head of the That's, Navy or something? I think he was during oh, World War II. I'm trying to figure out where I got that name from. I think it was, but I'm not sure. McNamara. Hmm. I can go back on back and forth on which one of these is better because you get the ABV punch. Water has really opened up the M and H, but then you go back to the McNamara. <laughs> and it's it's funky. darker it's darker sweetie uh sweeter sweeter, sweeter and uh, funky very funky you know great palette as well on it so um feel like jim actually, morrison going, should be singing in the background while i'm sipping this one i'm going 90 on both of them wow yeah i would, I would go back and forth on which one all right it wouldn't get into the 90s on me i would do 88 on both of them hmm? 88 that would be good. There's I our two-point spread. Go up. Two-point spread. Bam. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking. All right. <laughs> that was good. Sweet. Well, right. thank you, Lady K. So we are going to do... Do do check out those Single Cask Nation. They have uh, flat rate shipping. Oh, my gosh. $15. Yeah, well, it used to be 10 So it's 15 Here's the deal. You get one bottle, it's going to be 15 to ship. You get two bottles, 15 to ship. Three bottles, 15 to ship. It just keeps going. I just shit my pants. <laughs> I just shit my bed. <laughs> that I was just a great commercial. I yeah, I know. That was I great. just shit yeah. my drawers. <laughs> but their, their shipping program is great, and it really entices you to not buy just one bottle. You're like, well, I got to add in a second. <laughs> Boom. Just like Lady K. So there you go. Let's pull up our. Uh, if Thank you, you, Lady K. Lady K, you're awesome. Cheers. So if you go to Patreon, you can support us there. You can go look up Scotch Test Dummies, and we have a supporter today. Brian Landfair came Brian in. Brian Landfair. Thank you, Brian. $1 supporter on Patreon. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Yep. So you come on if you like the show, even just a dollar a month worth. You can come in and support for a dollar a month, dollar a show, two, go on up. So thank you very much. And. My shirt. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can buy shirts, coins, glasses. We use the heck out of these Steve dropper sets. All kinds of stuff. Helps support the show. It keeps the lights on. Keeps these the whiskey lights, coming. These lights. Scotch it, you. Scotch. Gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. Woohoo.